Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will get started right away. Your card, the first card out is the situation within the relationship. All right, we had two come out. So um, you guys could be in a situation or a relationship where um, there's a lot of messages going back and forth between each other, a lot of passionate messages, um, a lot about love, a lot about your feelings, a lot about how you care um, for each other, but yet there's still a decision that needs to be made. Something needs to be released in order to for this relationship to go to that next level from the page to the night, but right now it's still at that page level um, because... Somebody is refusing to uh, look at the the situation for what it is and make a decision whether that is to leave, uh, you know, something. It's it's in order to something has to be removed from the situation in order for this to elevate to uh, the next level, just beyond the messages and the and the you know here and there um, of seeing each other. Um, so either you or the person you are dealing with has. Uh, a situation that they have to um, deal with in order before the two of you can come together. You, however, the fire signs are bringing to the situation a lot of truth. You're opening up, you're letting them know uh, how you truly feel about this decision. Yeah, you have a lot of passion for this person, but is this person allowing you to walk in your divine truth? Is Because you're a fully awake fire sign or whoever this person is on this side. If you're cross-watching a fire sign, this could be you as well. Um, pick whichever side of the situation you uh, resonate most with. With, but one of you is fully awakened. One of you sees the divine power between this connection and the victory that, that you could have by walking in this truth as that crown, um, it, you know, and sits on top of that sword with the two divine wreaths of success on top of it. So one of you is very clear about how this is a gift from God. This relationship is a gift. You, one of you has made the clear decision for this relationship. One of you still has two swords. Neither are crowned because they haven't made that decision yet. So one of you knows that this is a gift from the universe, knows the power of this relationship, and one of you still has that decision to be made. Um, the other person very possibly knows the truth as well, but for some reason they are still fighting this connection. They could have a lot of healing that they have to do um, before this can come forward. Um, they're feeling very guarded. Uh, they're not allowing their emotions to be felt because they're worried about the fight that will happen between this uh, decision that they have to make. And here on the bottom, you see, is the gift. Uh, could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, yeah, <laughs> this side is raring and ready to go. Um, this side, they're very held back, very reserved on their emotions. Um, wow. Wow. Let's get one more for the other side here. Or two more. Okay, so. I like there was two there. Okay, let's get one more for the fireside sign, please. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, holy cow. This is big. <laughs> this is really big. Okay. So it may not appear that big, but let me let me show you where I'm going at here, Fire Science. So this person is not just fully awakened. This person is okay. <laughs> There's so much to say here, I don't even know where to begin. So um, for one, your outcome is the magician, clarified by the hermit. Um, I don't like to leave the outcome with a major arcana or a court card. So we're going for deep here in the outcome. So uh, first, let's start with the beginning of the situation. This uh, situation has come together and apart, together and apart, um, more than once or twice. Uh, you, you guys can't seem to break apart from each other fully. Um, you go with these times where there's a lot of silence. 
um, where there's, uh, you come together and you're all in and then pretty soon, uh, you guys separate and, and this has been going back and forth. Um, we're coming to the beginning of a cycle where you guys are reaching out to each other again. There's a lot of messages going back and forth. There's a lot of decisions to be made. Um, some of which are hard decisions and that's what's, um, standing in the way of somebody making this choice because it's not an easy one. They have a lot of inner conflict about this decision. They know there's going to be success within this relationship, but they know they're going to constantly have to defend their success. They're not sure if they're ready and willing to be up for that battle. Um, not only that, will they have to defend their success, but they're going to have to battle to get out of a situation that they're in. Um, so they're just kind of sitting there. They know that they love you. They know that they want to be with you. They know that there's a very strong connection between the two of you, but they're holding on tight to what they got at the moment because they fear losing it. They're worried if they allow their emotions to be felt and they truly make a decision and decide to fight for this connection that they're going to lose out financially or um, down the road, they're going to they fear that you're going to think they're not enough. They don't have enough to make you happy or, you know, they're worried about finances, not having enough to support the situation, not having enough to support themselves. So they're very being very stingy with their time um, with you right now. They're being very stingy with their um, investment in this connection and they're being very stingy with their emotions because they're trying very hard not to feel them. They're worried if they allow them to feel them, they know how miserable they're going to be without you. Um, and it's going to push them into a place where they're going to have to do something. So right now it's very easy for them to numb their feelings, um, but they're getting ready to take action because no matter what, how hard they try to block this out, the time is here. The universe is this person is fully ready. So now that this person is fully ready, it's going to push a tower moment into this person's life to where they're going to have to take action. And this person's going to be there and waiting because this person has established and um, succeeded to reach their full potential. They're at their highest vibration. Um, this is a, a twin flame soulmate connection where this person has fully healed. Look at that. Bam, that's one person, um, and here we are. So um, the tower, no matter what this person whether they're ready or not to deal with it, they're going to get pushed in to this feelings. They're not going to be forced to move because we are uh, uh, have the beautiful blessing of free will. Uh, but they're going to not be able to fight off these feelings anymore. They're not going to be able to fight off the feeling that they have to have you, that they want to invest everything they have in you, um, which they have been for the last three, four, five, six, seven years. Um, they have been trying to block out this connection so they can stay comfortably blinded where they're at. Um, and by you reaching out to them or vice versa, this is causing their tailspin. This is causing their uh, moment of, oh my God, I need this person. Um, so now they've thought about it. They thought about it. They thought it's about it some more. And they are taking action. Finally. They're to the point of taking action because um, this is coming out across from the emperor. So most definitely taking action, um, cutting themselves out of a situation, possibly a married situation um, that that they need to move away from, need to move forward from. Um, I do see this more than likely happening in the time of cancer. That'll be the third week of June. Um, that This person is going to... Um, you know, cut themselves out. Right now, we're in the time of Gemini. This person is sitting there thinking, 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 deciding how to do this, deciding which choice to make, deciding which action to um, move them forward. So right now, they're not allowing any, um, you know, they're, we're coming out of Taurus where they held back. They're not uh, wanting to invest. They're just sitting where they're at, very, trying very hard to, um, to, to stay stable in their own situation. Here we are in Aries fighting. So this person could have reached out to you or you reached out to them um, in March, early April, the time of Aries. Oh shit, here we go. Now we're into Taurus. We're pulling back. 
This is when they wanted to meet, you know, get back together. Now we're pulling back because I feel this connection. I feel that I'm going to have to make a choice. Now I'm just going to hold on super tight to what I got so I don't lose anything. Um, and now we are here are in the time of Gemini. All right, I'm making a decision. I know I have a choice to make. I'm going to have to cut myself out of one of these situations. Which one is it going to be? And here we are in the time of cancer, and we were moving out of a married situation that we are in. Um, and we are moving forward, moving single, moving to the time of healing, moving into something that I feel is meant for me. Whether I am moving towards a Sagittarius or a Cancer, um, I am moving forward. We also have Aries and Leo here. So this person is moving towards the fire sign. Like I said, more than likely in the third week of June. I know this reading is coming out on the 3rd of June, um, but I am seeing this in the next seven days to, to um, the next three weeks. I doubt it'll be in the month of July, but it could be as well. Um, I'm seeing more of the third week of June, the huge movement, the breaking apart of this person's situation that they're dealing with and finally making a decision. And that's why this is still in the upright because they haven't made a decision yet. But here we are <clears throat> in this time of Gemini still making this decision. But by this third week of June, it's going to move forward. All right. Over here, you guys have been awoke. You are Waking up to the divine truth, getting out of a fog, seeing what you have to do, knowing that I have to reach out and let this person know. Here we are. Take it or leave it because I'm walking away if you don't. If you don't reciprocate the energy that I am putting into this, I am going to re remove myself from the options. You're no longer going to have a choice. I'll choose for you. See you later. That's what's putting them in this thinking position. You also know that you have an up, an, a huge possibility for the opportunity for huge abundance with this person. Um, you also know that there's abundance anywhere. Wherever you want to create a huge, big, abundant life, you can do it because you're walking your truth. You're living the truth of the divine. You're no longer in this confusion. You're no longer in this uh, state of, I need this person. It's, you know what? If you want to be with me, we can make it great. But if you don't, I'm going to be great no matter where the hell I am at. So you're either with me or you're, or you're not. But you better make a decision and you better make it fast because I've been waiting here for years. No more. Um, and that's what's causing them to make this huge move because they see you for who you are. You are very, um, take charge of my life. I am tired of sitting here in silence. I'm tired of waiting on your ass. So I'm going to take charge of my life. You're either going to build an empire with me or I'm going to build it without you. But either way, I'm confident. I am amazing. And I'm vibing so high that I can bring anybody into my life to be, um, on my, at my side with you know, sitting at my side on our thrones, um, you're building an empire, fire signs. You truly are. And it's a gift from the universe. You're building an empire because the divine is at your side. You have put in the hard work. You have healed. You have let go of so much bullshit that this person has put you through. And you're giving them one last chance. Are you coming with me? Are we moving forward? Are we going to live this life of passion? Are we going to choose to be together? Or are we moving our separate ways? Because you know, you have the confidence, you have the warmth, you have the ability to draw in many suitors, uh, fire sign, whether you are male or female, because you have this confidence about you that people are like drawn to you without even trying. You are beautiful inside and out, male or female. You have this sex appeal. You have this uh, appeal to people because of your mind, your thoughts. Um, you are just you're just amazing. This energy in the first week of June, first couple weeks of June of the last part of Gemini season is tough on you. I'm not going to lie with our planetary aspects where we're at. It is tough because you are coming through some shit and you're realizing that the outside forces were just that outside forces for too long. You let this person's opinion and everyone else's opinion or this person's actions determine your happiness. And you are finally coming out of that end of Gemini season and into cancer. And you're like, wait a minute. No, that's not me. That's not me. I'm no longer confused. 
I know I can have an amazing life with or without this person. I am this person. I am not whatever this person decides I am. I'm not determined by what this person thinks of me or whether they want to be with me or whether I just they just want me as their third party. I'm no longer a part of that. I'm going to be this amazing individual and if you want to come towards me and come with me, that's great. But if not, I'm choosing to remove myself as an option. And it's going to be your loss, not mine. So as your outcome, you are manifesting an amazing situation. You're manifesting an amazing uh, opportunity to move this to a place this relationship has never been before. Because you have never been so awakened. You have never been so healed. And you have never been through so much shit and looked back and thought, wow, look how far I've come, look who I've become, and you are here and ready and willing to help this person heal so the two of you can create a new life together with the tools you have learned through all the heartbreak, through all the healing, through all the bullshit that you have been through with this person and many other relationships, situations, um, just life's lessons has really thrown at you. You have attained a, a level you have never come through. And so that's why the first couple of weeks of June are difficult. They're not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of dips in the road. There's going to be a lot of fun times. There's going to be a lot of, you know, wow, that hurt. There's going to be a lot of information coming towards you. There's going to be a lot of things coming out, possibly that this person did or others in your life. But at the end of the month, at the end of Gemini season, you are the one that is clearly coming out on top. Because with Gemini here and uh, representative of Virgo, you are coming out of Gemini season on top, ready to start a new life, ready to begin a new situation, um, a new relationship, whether it be with this person or the next, could very well be with a Virgo. But that's because... In the first couple weeks of June, and I know this is a daily reading, but this is way bigger than this. I couldn't help it. This is what the cards came out. In June, you are taking a step back because, like I said, your things are coming out. You're finding out information. You're like, wow, that hurt. So you're taking a couple steps back. But in that time of the hermit, as you see in this lantern, the hermit always carries the star with them. So little do you know, until you find yourself, your soul in this hermit, do you realize that anything you go through is not out of the realms of healing because you're constantly holding the star in your hand? That's why people are drawn to you, fire signs. That's why you are so magnetic because when somebody is heal needs healed, when somebody is hurting and they are searching, um, you know, not even consciously, they're drawn to you because you hold the star in your hand. They are drawn to you because of your natural warmth. And I know this card represents Virgo, but it's coming out in your outcome. You are gaining this knowledge. You are gaining this wisdom in the first couple weeks of June because you're taking a step back because of the this situation and you're finding that inner light, that inner glow, that inner beauty about you is so drawing to other people because you hold the star in your hand. So not only do you have a constant source of healing within you, but you can constantly make your own wishes coming true. And that's what makes this magician so powerful because you now get it. You now have the tools. You now realize that whatever wish you want, you have all the tools in your hand, including all the elements and the star of healing within you. These two cards together in your outcome is creating whatever you want. Whatever you want is yours. And now you know it. Now you realize it. Because you come from a pure intention place. Because you come from a place of love. And you come from a place of you know, good intentions. So you're not using the magician to fool people, to, to use magic on people, to use games on people. You're using the magician as a way to build your life because you now have the tools to create it, not to fool somebody, but to create it. It's at your fingertips. So you 
now are becoming this transformed individual. The, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through so much shit, so much hurt, so much betrayal, so much garbage that people have put them through their whole life that they finally get pushed to a place where they have to walk away. They have to move out of, out of this turmoil and into this hermit. And they go through this deep transformation. So when they come out of that hermit and this transformation, they cut all the bullshit out of their life. And they know, they know what is true and what isn't. They know what the future holds for them because they have the power to create it. So in your guys' outcome, you have attained the highest level of of healing, of ascension that you have to this point um, in the beginning of June. This person in the third week of June is leaving their situation and they are coming towards you to help you create this new world because you're very confident you're creating it with or without them, with the emperor. Um, this, this very well could be a Virgo or a Gemini, but no matter what, this person is coming to you because they see you hold the star. The chariot always goes to the star. So this person is coming to you for healing. This person is coming to you because they see your warmth and your open arms and you're willing to help them heal. You're going to take action with them because they see they have a king and queen of swords. It don't matter what element it is when a king and queen come out together. In my reading, it automatically is the um, equal vibration, perfect pair. So this person is taking action and moving towards you and you're going to help get them out of any situation that is causing this hurt, this rough waters. You are the one that is pushing the oar to get them out of this situation. You're going to help them to ascend to a higher level, to help you help them uh, reach this vibration that you so beautifully and most confidently are embarking on. So this is like huge, huge, huge. And like I said, this isn't a day's reading by any means. This, like I said, the third week of June, huge. Um, this is more like a monthly reading, but um, this is amazing. Amazing. You got congratulations to whoever is on this side because you had to go through some shit to get to that point. Now, some of you, um, another way this is going is um, by you gaining this much knowledge, wisdom, and healing, you are telling this person either, listen, I love you, but if you don't make a decision, I'm out. I'm going to create my own prosperity. I'm going to you know, heal my own self and those who come to my light. I'm cutting myself out of the situation and I'm moving away from you. This person is going to then chase you um, because they know that you are their perfect vibrational pair with the king and queen of swords. And you're going to move away from this situation because it brings you too much. It brings you too much negativity. Screw that. You are over with that. You are way too high vibe to deal with this bullshit and you're out. And that's when they're going to realize you're for real and they're going to chase you. They're going to uh, quickly make a decision in the third week of June and follow right behind you, hoping you give them another chance. All right, let's get one card on your journey. One card for our fire signs. Whoa, how about you? All right, got Gates of Triumph is your bottom of your deck. Success expands in your life. And I want to tell you, it's like, um, it is 2.30 in the morning here. And I was in a deep sleep and I woke up and had to do this reading for fire signs. Now, I don't know why. I didn't know why, but now I do now. And I'm so glad that I did. Your two cards on your journey. Surrendering to the journey. Release control and miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. I'm going to go ahead and read out of the book for this just because Denise Lynn does an amazing job and my guides are telling me to because there is a specific message in these cards that you need to hear. So, so um, in the book, this card says it's time to let go. Time to let go. All is well. The creator is at your side. You don't have to do it alone. Your life is guided and protected. This is not the time to try to control the details of your life right now. Let it flow. There are times to hold on and there are times to surrender. Surrender to the greater forces of the universe. Let go of wanting control of your future. Simply turn the challenges over to your spiritual source. The creator will escort you on your journey. 
Surrendering is not giving up. You're not yielding to a force outside yourself. You're opening up your soul. By releasing hold, you're allowing your creating creative forces of the universe to spiral through you, which brings inspiration and direction into your life. Sometimes the journey goes a different way than expected. When it does, don't resist. There are times you can see the path, and there are times that you can't. Not knowing where you're going can actually activate inspiration, insight, and creative forces through you. You cannot discover new oceans or the distant vistas unless you have the courage to let go of the shore. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Support is all around you. Simply open your heart and allow it in because it is going to lead you exactly where you need to go. And miracles. All right. Says, just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty, and majestic wonders wait to unfold you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in unlikely forms. Trust that all is unfolding in your highest good, and expect miracles in your life right now. What is, what is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish, then they will appear, no matter how small they seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life right now in a new way. Let go of fear and expectations and allow the creator to solve all your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can happen in your life because all is well right now and all will always be well as long as you allow the creator to bring miracles into your life. There's inner and outer healings on all levels occurring in your life right now. A situation in a relationship is going to be resolved. Have faith that it is happening. This is a time to find the source of your challenge and transform as you are finding healing. You are about you are about there. Do it now. Do not do not carry with a heavy heart. Know that you are a healing force for others. Even if you're not aware of it, you hold the candle that lights other people's darknesses. If you if you were aware of what was coming for you, you would not believe it. So just hold on and be ready for all the miracles in your life to come forward as you let the creator work through you. What an amazing, powerful message, fire signs. So don't give up hope, release control, and know that you are being guided to do whatever you are being guided to do. It is truth. The divine is working through you. The divine is guiding you to where you need to be, exactly where you need to be at. So if you are guided to tell this person, you know what, it's now or never, and if they don't move, move forward. They will come. They will follow you. They will chase you. If you are guided to tell them, you know, it's now or never, and they decide to leave their situation, either way, the two of you are creating this magnificent life together. But you have to believe in miracles. Because this is what is this is what you are. You are the candle in other people's darknesses. So allow that flame to burn bright and know that what is coming for you or what is meant for you is coming for you. So expect those miracles um, when you surrender the outcome to source. So have a beautiful, blessed day, fire signs. I love you all and God bless.